Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Thus, we are aware of the upcoming AMC films. They are going to start off on the right foot. The Super Mario Brothers are a video game franchise. Went completely insane. Q1 Chaotic. The earnings date for AMC, if you do not already know, is on May 5th. We still anticipate a wild earnings report this week. Therefore, it will occur this week. Okay, then. So, to get right into it, the most recent topic we have discussed on the channel is monitoring these yellow and blue earnings cycles that we have drawn. And I have repeatedly stated that I expect AMC to scale up this week, next week, and possibly reach that level by mid-June at the latest. Consequently, there is a time frame, a time window, during which I believe AMC has the opportunity to either make a significant run-up or experience a legitimate pressure going forward. Obviously, this will correlate with other catalysts, such as the performance of the S and P500, the performance of short sellers in the dump banks, etc. However, the S&P 500 has been trending upward, which could be detrimental to short sellers. The failure of banks has the potential to harm short sellers. And you see these Chinese businesses growing by thousands of percent annually. And we have established a correlation between that and how it may save short sellers in the short term, but not for too long. So without further ado, before I delve thoroughly into the charts, I would like to emphasize that the Ortex numbers are at or near all-time highs. So these are the back-between-back -back numbers for June, correct? These are the numbers as they currently stand. So essentially, almost everything is higher than it was, placing more pressure on shorts, if not already at record highs. Not claiming it is a coincidence that it will reach those all-time high levels at this time. However, it is important to note that these levels exist. Before we move on to the displays, let's briefly discuss Stock Tracker. According to Cycle Tracker, there are 650,000 shares that can be borrowed for a fee of 18%. In addition, I'd like to highlight the importance of the options chain, which will vary depending on the magnitude of the run up that we experience. Therefore, I do not believe that these option contracts are truly playing the earnings on May 5th. I believe the majority of option traders are more astute than that as they are playing the May 19th, so that Theta does not destroy them. So this is precisely where I intended to search. You have approximately 360,000 calls compared to 500,000 puts. Obviously, market makers will not want to allow this to succeed. This week, you will need to pay close attention to the short exempts and the volume of short exempts. A lot of people believe that if AMC's fundamentals improve, short sellers will be forced out of their position. I believe this to be true in the majority of cases. Shorts are definitely trapped in this play, as evidenced by what they did to GameStop after GameStop reported positive earnings. Therefore, bear in mind that the calls to puts ratio is essentially balanced. As of now, up until next week, there are approximately 100,000 inquiries, which collectively amounts to versing on AMC to see where it will go. I believe the protests will ultimately prevail. And allow me to explain why. Consequently, over the past earnings period, AMC has exceeded earnings per share in revenue, while remaining in the red but exceeding expectations. The last one was absolutely insane, with a 35% earnings per share beat and a 1.5% revenue beat. We all anticipate that this will be even better than the December earnings that were reported. Therefore, we anticipate a positive cash flow of earnings, if not very, very near, which is closer than AMC has ever been, at least prior to the pandemic. Now, commenting on AMC's chart, we want to examine where AMC traded in the red prior to the January run-up, as this is precisely where all indications point to AMC trading at the moment. Currently, the market appears to be on the verge of initiating what could be a massive, massive move to the upside. Obviously, since the last time we ran in January and the last time we ran in June, we have not reached that level of running. Nonetheless, after the red cycle concluded, there was a nice move up to about $21 before it was halted. Okay, that was the last time the AMC had a good run. The last time one of these green cycles was played. Not to mention, I find this quite fascinating, but this red cycle ended on January 27, 2022. Therefore, the January 2021 and January 2022 cycles are currently occurring. Obviously, this verdant cycle was lengthened. 
you can observe an extension in the cycles between the green, the yellow, and the crimson. However, the red is ending so quickly that it is difficult to pinpoint the exact date. It could be now, it could be a week from now, or it could be two weeks from now. All we really need to know is that calls made at least one to three months in advance are presumably safe wagers. Not a financial advisory service, I'm not a financial advisor. Having said that, the white ball. The orange lines on the chart that you have superimposed in front of you represent each instance in which AMC generated profits. Now, what we can see is that the overall trend after AMC reported earnings back here moved beyond the reach of the algorithms and market makers in June during the June run-up. Right. It broke out to the upside and went straight up after earnings. Prior to earnings, it also went straight up. Most of the time when these earnings manifest, you will observe a very similar occurrence preceding earnings. And this is precisely what we must focus on before profits. You see AMC scale up. Consider this back here, where I'm drawing on AMC, where you can see AMC playing this little squeal. The price rises and falls, and then the earnings play out as they play out. You observed it there and here prior to this earnings call. It was right here prior to this earnings call. You observed it here. Right now. Basically each and every time. Okay, that is essentially the point I'm making here. Not claiming that this will unfold in the same manner. Nevertheless, AMC may or may not have a 20% week this week. Right. We're already up 2.4% when discussing Friday. I believe there are two possible futures for AMC. One follows the January green cycle, and the other follows the January 2022 green cycle. And this is precisely how they both appear. Therefore, the January 2021 and January 2022 contracts have the exact same setup, and the aggregate sentiment has improved. I find it intriguing that the January 2022 buildup would be inherently favorable. It would retrace to this overall descending trend line, rebound off of it, bounce off of the wedge, experience a vicious sell-off, and then earnings would occur. And omit both of these dates, January 20 and 21, as well as January 2022. This is the initial buildup. Not only that, but out of the gates, people loading up on premium would also, you know, degrade a lot of contracts, which could be a smart strategy heading into Monday, despite the fact that there is a lot of hype surrounding this week. But overall, I just wanted to cover this for you folks. My full confidence goes out to you, and despite the fact that lottery equities are expected to be volatile, we will scale up. This week will conclude with a closing price that exceeds $5.50. Then we are currently trading at. And if we do not, I will be extremely, extremely astonished. And if we don't, I believe you'll have an insanely large earnings disparity if that's not the case. Guys, this is what I have for you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed viewing. Before you exit the video, be sure to receive up to 15 complimentary stocks each. Stocks valued at up to $2,000 each for simply downloading Moomoo through my link and placing the deposit. This link is also located underneath.